Hello everyone, welcome back to Critics News where we keep you updated with the latest info on us. You take the go in case you never follow us on our social media handles. Please do that immediately. We are on Facebook, we there for Twitter, we there for Instagram, we there for YouTube. And on TikTok too, we are also there. Please follow us on all these platforms and also help us in sharing our videos. And um, maybe we go straight to the reason why we're here. No time to waste time. Now they say that um, the court has directed um uh what do you call him the agf in fact made a reconcile with mazin and the in fact because the case is not working in the court court directed tinubu government and then nam the Kano to negotiate seek reconciliation ipob leaders lawyer clay clarifies hmm barista lawyer jimako special counsel for the leader of the indigenous people of biafra ipob nam the Kano has clarified that it was the Federal High Court in Abuja that directed the Nigerian government and the IPOB leader to pursue reconciliation. Now, what does that mean? It means that they should reconcile. That this thing is not working in the court because the court has been rounded. The court has been run through. They don't cycle the court. Go before, go again now. Now, the second time, maybe this one said, but yet the whole case is not getting heard. So, he say make Tinubu government and the AGF may they meet with Mazinam the Kano and talk this thing out man to man. Okay. But as I Ejimako special counsel, now in talk this one. Ejimako said the court gave the directive on Wednesday when Kano's case came up. The lawyer says some media report that Kano sought negotiation with Nigerian government on charges leveled against him were slanted. According to him, it was the court that invoked its powers under Section 17 of the Federal High Court Act and issued the directive. Ejimako said, Today, invoking its powers under Section 17 of the Federal High Court, Justice Vita Mortala Nyako directed the Attorney General of the Federation and Mazen Namdekano to explore the prospect of reconciliation or political solution in the ongoing trial of Namdekano. This political solution way many people don't they talk about say so they say people are saying I'm be the only solution to this case now because the way where they take the look am they think you no know, they get ahead to try the man you know they feel work if they hook the trial hook the thing go on hook say no this thing cannot work so now I make now as Bintanya Kosef she don't tire for the case Bintanya could don't tire for this matter and I know say now no be say if to say Nigeria get judicial autonomy. They for don't uh, they for don't release Mazen Nam the Kano, but even though the appeal court has released him, they still hold him. Nigeria government still hold him. So Bita and Yakona, they use him, they use uh, Mazen Nam the Kano, they worry the woman, which is the federal government of Nigeria. So now you don't do 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 to see whether you go feel try the man, the thing, you know, they feel get head. Now you make it say maybe you know, Tinubu and the Attorney General of uh, the Federation. Made them find way and sort themselves out because she said she don't tire for the matter. It's not working. Now, Section 17 of the Federal High Court Act provides that in any proceedings in the court, the court may promote reconciliation among the parties thereto and encourage and facilitate the amicable settlement thereof. Responding, the pri private prosecutor representing the federal government, Ademo Yega Awomolo San, told the court that he has no objection to political settlement or solution of the case, but Kano's lawyers should discuss it directly with the Attorney General of uh, Nigeria. In the same vein, Kano's led counsel, Aloy Jumaka, expressed no objection to political settlement. Kano had filed an application before the court seeking to move, move from 49 and a second application which objected to the court jurisdiction to try him. Kano is facing trial on terrorism charges leveled against him by former President Muhammad Buhari administration over his call and agitation for a sovereign state of Biafra. The case has continued under President Bola Tinubu's administration. Now, the case was adjourned to September 24th for further hearing. This case, September again, September again. How many months now remain on? I still won't finish this year. Now, this is June. July, August, September, four months, four months adjournment. September. Now I give him now to 
Ah, now I will. I hope this while I go finish. I just hope. I just hope. Make on I watch the video while um they were speaking in the court yesterday. Are you seeking an out of court settlement with the federal government? It's done, but it's me. They should tell me what they want to do with me. Direct question. Sir, are you seeking an out of court settlement with the federal government? I can't say what I didn't initiate. They are the ones that kidnapped me and brought me here. So, it's whatever they say that will happen. But your lawyer is trying to move Section 17 of the Federal High Court Act. Yes. Which calls for negotiation. Are you in line with that? I remind the judge of. Uh, it's, it's the judge's powers. I don't think it's, it's mm. within his powers. Mm. It's, it's for the judge to decide. Mm. Okay, so you would, would you want the judge to decide that? Yes. It is up to her discretion to do that. Okay, but now she has sent you to the AGF. Mm. So how would you explore that particular uh, position of the court? Well, the, the prosecutor who is prosecuting by fiat is not opposed to that. He too said we can go to AGF. And we are saying AGF can also come to us. That's correct. So that, that means uh, they are open to, to the prospects of reconciliation. That's what the law says. Okay. He's actually quoting the law, what the law says. Yeah. Okay. Not me. Thank you very much. All right. I'm on. I don't hear that one from uh, um, Barista Loy, Jimako, and Mazen Namdekano while they were in court, live and direct. Uh, make we uh, proceed. No time to waste time. No time to waste your time at all at all. Uh, we want to listen to uh, Kuka. We want to listen to Kuka. We be the um, Sokoto Archdiocese Bishop. He gave a message when he want give to all the people. We be say their pastor don't uh, say this year you will sing a new song. Now listen to that song. And uh, for those of you whose pastors told you in January. The beginning of the year that by the grace of god you will sing a new song now learn the new national anthem <laughs> so that is the new song those are for the way they find new song where we say oh my pastor promised me that we are going to sing a new song now it be that one and they don't fire the president of the country tinubu come and hear this message so our senior president and bola Medi tinubu our fallen president. People are going through a lot. The poor people are suffering. I know you don't feel the pains of the poor. I know you feel you don't feel anything about the poor. Nothing concerns you about what the poor people are going through. Because your heart is as dark as charcoal. You are like a vulture. Looking for a dead body to devour. I know you don't feel the poor people's pains. I wonder how the poor people keep quiet. They refuse to say something. They refuse to, to pour out their agony. Everybody's keeping quiet. Enjoying the hardship that Tinibu has brought to us. I'm not going to enjoy it because I don't have. That is why I will speak out. I will use this small money I have to buy that, that to speak out. We are suffering. Bola Medi Tinibu. I know you don't have heart. Your heart is as dark as Jaco. But I will still say something. And my prayer is, your children will face what you, are, what you put us through. Your children will suffer it. You think you have escaped. But our prayer is, your children will... Calamity will fall upon them. Destruction will, will fall upon your children. God will hit your children with a bigger problem that is way higher than, the, than what, people are, what the poor people are going through. Disaster will fall upon you, your children. They will suffer. The kind of disaster that will fall upon your children, even the, the best hospital in abroad cannot be able to save your children. God will punish you, punish your children, because we the poor are going through a lot. We cannot, we can no longer afford food in the market anymore. God will punish you, punish your children. If I say God will punish you, you are older. Very soon you will die. So it is your children that my prayer is going to. Disaster will fall upon your children. The kind of disaster that will fall upon your children, even the doctors will not be able to save your children. Mm. Your lineage will perish by the grace of God. Except God did not answer, God did not answer always. God did not do not want to answer the prayers of a poor person. As long as God lives and God answered prayers, your children will face calamity by the grace of God. 
Oh, now don't hear matter where they send gift to Nubu. <laughs> How do you go? Before I come out, to make a first of all show now. Those of our webis on our one send money go Nigeria sharply from any countries of the world. I beg. I make on use this uh, particular app where they call tap tap send. Now, beta app where we say their rate they very high. And then um, if you they send money with my promo code where they call critics news. Then go give you five pounds on top of that money where you want to send go Nigeria. They'll give you five euros on top of that money free. Then they'll give you ten dollars plus high rate. Ah, ah. <laughs> don't play, don't play. This is a serious matter here. Don't play. So I beg, may you use them. Then use that promo code Critics News in capital letters. They'll give you this uh, bonus. I promise you, yourself, you go see and say, ah, true, true. Is working so no be share with it. You get the point now. But more I mean share this video, more update shortly.